Hey guys, welcome to another Lightroom quick tip by Who Said Photography. Today, um, well, last tip we showed you how to change the file name and multiple file names in, in one shot. This time we're going to show you how to change the capture date and, t and time. Why you may want to do this? Well, maybe your daylight saving time has, has flipped, changed, and you forgot to change it on your camera. Or you've taken your camera and you've gone on a vacation to a different time zone. And again, you forgot to change the date and the time. But anyways, here we go. I've, collect, I've clicked on an image. So if we go over to, I'm in like the library. Better make sure of this. I'm in the library. I've clicked on my image. And I've gone to the metadata. Right here it gives us a capture date and capture time. Little arrow, show, those, show photos taken at this date. Up the top of it, edit the capture time. So I can, at this time, adjust with specific date and time, shift by set of hours, change a file's creation date. So I'm gonna shift it by an hour. okay and you notice it did change because I have my filter system set it's now down here I have it set by capture time and I'm still on this one so now this is set to 349 my other picture was taken at 314 now we know that's incorrect now let's just select this one and we're just going to shift it an hour. And you notice it's back in the spot. So if you fail to miss your, uh, if you fail to um, change your date and time on your camera, uh, you can correct it in Lightroom. Uh, another quick tip, if I take this series, which is going to take the four, now you notice the capture date and time has changed altogether. Now I can change all of them. Now the operation cannot be undone so you can't hit a control Z to undo this. Once it's done it's done. Here we are. Now you notice they're all at the bottom again. Click on them. They've all been changed by an hour. So I will shift back again, click on them. There you go, back in there. So if you've got the wrong date or time, it can be ch changed with inside Lightroom. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tip, and we'll see you next time on Who Said Photography.